Alright everybody, good afternoon, welcome to your broadcast today entitled Nothing But Nets and it's the first part about uh, two videos that are going to discuss surface area. Um, what we're going to concern ourselves with today is three dimensional solids and how to convert them from 3D to two dimensional nets. We're going to go from this figure and we're going to turn it into a net which will look something like this figure. There's a certain amount of steps that we need to follow. You know that if we fold up those where those dotted lines are we'll get a uh, rectangular prism. So without further ado, let's, uh, let's get into this and let's get started. Okay, so here we are in a program called Geometer Sketchpad and it's really quite handy for doing uh, things like this. Um, so as you can see it provides us with one centimeter square dot paper or grid paper in this case, which is something you guys have already been working with. And uh, we're going to use it to construct a net out of the figure that you see at the bottom left of your screen. That's the rectangular prism that I just showed you. It's important that we keep an eye on those dimensions because we're actually going to be using those so we construct you know, the proper size. So we're going to start with the base, that's step one. So the base is the side that the prism is sitting on. In this case it's a four by six centimeter rectangle. So we're just going to do that. We're going to trace it out. So we're going to go four centimeters this way. And we're going to go six centimeters up. Okay. So we're at one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, and it's just a matter of closing it in. Okay, and there you go. That's our uh, that's our base. So what we need to recognize now is there's a, there's some a couple other congruent. So they're the exact same faces. There's the sides, and then there's the top, and they're all going to be exactly the same. So we're just going to continue that. So this one that I'm tracing out right now is going to represent the right side. Okay, so the first one that's standing up. Now I'm going to do another one and that's going to represent the top of this figure. Okay, so we have three sides. We have the bottom, we have the right side, and we have the top. Now we have to do the left side, so the one that's not visible to us in our uh, little sketch down there. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, and we just close it off. There's one thing that we have to do now, and that is the front and the back, okay? And we recognize that the one side, so this one right here, is still four centimeters, but the height is actually five centimeters. So it's just a matter of going one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. And then one, two, three, four, five. And we're going to do the same at the top. Okay, and that's what we got. Now we can even further this by putting in some dashed lines. So what we do here is we highlight these and we're just going to go up to our options and we're going to turn those into dashed lines. So we have our, where are they here, display, we have line width, change them to dashed. So now we know that those are the lines that we fold on and we can actually even hide our grid and see that that is what our net now looks like. Okay, now we can go through and we can label all these sides if we want, but uh, that's going to take a little while and that actually is a direct, you know, thing that we're going to deal with in terms of part two, which is calculating the surface area of this net. So I hope that made some sense to you. Um, it is quite simple, but again, it's a matter of visualization. Take your time, make sure your lines are nice and straight. Um, don't stress yourself out, because it's not worth stressing out over. If you have any questions, that's why I'm here. Please do not hesitate to come and ask for my help. Uh, next episode is gonna deal with how to calculate the surface area of that very same net. So uh, be sure to be checking back for that if you're coming up. All right, have a great night. I'll see you guys in class and talk to you soon. Later days.